Good day and welcome to this week's edition of Politics Need to Know. The focus this week is still on the 13 South African soldiers who were killed during combat in the Central African Republic. The ANC have reacted angrily to reports by yours truly, the Mail and Guardian. We raise questions about a series of deals between the two countries involving a company linked to the ANC. The deals unfold in parallel to the deployment of our troops in the country. In a strongly worded statement, the ANC accused the Mail and Guardian of pissing on the graves of our soldiers. Lots of rhetoric, but unfortunately not as many answers from our ruling party. The party is under pressure though, as public concern over the incident grows. Nearly a thousand people showed up at a military memorial for the soldiers on Tuesday. In parliamentary news, the opposition's attempts to force through a motion of no confidence in President Jacob Zuma has been held up at court. The DA has tried to use the courts to force Speaker Max Asula's hands, but the ANC has maintained the court should stay out of the battle. This, of course, brings up the issue of separation of powers between the judiciary and other arms of government, which has long been a sensitive issue for the ANC. In economic news, despite the ANC's vocal commitment to the National Development Plan, the business sector still blames policy uncertainty for their lack of investment spending. Citing policy vagueness in the mining and manufacturing sectors, Business Unity South Africa has called for more clarity and thought around proposed changes to labour relations and taxes for mines. Meanwhile, top business leaders have largely ignored Zuma's calls for executives to freeze their salaries as part of a social pact. Executives have continued raking in large salaries and bonuses, and economists say it will take more than a call from the president to change the situation. And considering the president himself received a 5.5% increase on his more than 2 million rand salary before he made the call, it might be a case of not walking the talk. And finally, former president and icon Nelson Mandela has spent his sixth night in hospital where he is being treated for pneumonia. Concerns for the elderly statesman is at an all-time high as he has been admitted several times for a recurring lung infection. And that's it for this week's politics news. Keep an eye on the Mail and Garden website for further developments.